Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll take a quick peek at how we can modify our response to cardiac arrest patients. The runner will go in with either the AED or the LifePak 15 and also be sure to have a surgical mask available. As soon as the runner makes first patient contact, they will determine that the patient of course is in cardiac arrest and immediately place a surgical mask over the patient's face. Being sure to ensure the fit at the bridge of the nose and around the chin area. The next rescuer can immediately begin chest compressions and we've already reduced or minimized the risk of aerosolization from secretions during that process. As chest compressions continue for that first two minute cycle, another provider should be prepared to place a CPAP mask with the viral filter already loaded and matched together as well as the harness. At the end of the two minute cycle there should also be a nasal cannula available. It can be a BLS cannula that's available on any of the units. If an ALS unit is also on the scene at that point they can also use the end title nasal cannula. At the end of the first two minute cycle, the surgical mask is removed by the person managing the airway. The nasal cannula is very quickly placed over the patient's mouth or nose, doesn't really matter. Place the harness of the CPAP device and immediately place the CPAP mask with the viral filter back over the patient's face. That should take all of five to seven seconds which is the time that chest compressions will be interrupted and minimal aerosolization is taking place. The mask itself should be secured to the patient using the harness in the usual fashion and ensure that the seal is good with the patient's face. At this point the patient will receive oxygen. You can dial that up to the maximum liter flow of the regulator and the patient is being passively oxygenated during chest compressions. At this point we attach a bag valve mask and the patient receives six gentle ventilations per minute to supplement passive oxygenation. The BVM must be held at all times to avoid breaking the seal between the mask and the patient's face. Again at any point if the bag needs to be removed, remove it from the viral filter. Do not remove the viral filter from the mask itself.